generating these knockout mice, we are able to show the link between the gene and the behavior very clearly. When we started making uh, MLA knockout mice, we had a difficult time to make the construct and then uh, select the right, correct ESLs and so on. So anyway, we work very hard and it seems not progress fa fast enough. And one day I got this phone call and that's, uh, uh, say, it's Jin Shi. Well, anyway, with the French accent there, may I speak to her? So usually this sounds like a salesperson. I'm busy. I was patiently listening to this phone call, and I'm so glad I didn't hang up. And she had a line of mice when she was making a transgenic mice for interferon. She found that one, she told me on the phone, I found a one line of mice they are fighting very aggressive. So I was curious whether something went wrong in my experience. Do you want to uh, check out for me because you have all the sequence and the clone would be easy for you to do? And I said, oh, sure, sure. <laughs> I was so happy because we are trying to make knockout mice and not very successful. So she said, okay, let's send the mice. So that was a very big job, shipping the mice from France to LA. We need to do a lot of paperwork. And the day she delivered the mice, she was over there on the phone and called me all the time. Did you get the mice? Because we don't want those mice to die. But anyway, when the mice came, then we did the, we isolated the genomic DNA, we sequenced it. We, and it takes uh, some time, but what we found was really that interferon gene inserted into MAO gene. So that is an MLA knockout mice. And then we measured the serotonin level was very high, because uh, you have no MAO, the substrate is very, serotonin is very high. And we measured the urine 5-HIAA, the metabolite was zero. So that is the MLA knockout. So it's like God gave us this knockout from Isabella Seif. And she is a wonderful, wonderful scientist. And from then on, we collaborate. And it's a very, very good experience.